Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living and a retirement worth having. When we're living in the streets, when we're experiencing fraud on our life, when we've had identity theft take our life, and when we've really been a victim of cybercrime all the time and a personal attack on our life, we're looking for a place to eat. Straightforward. It's one of the three S's of our life, outside of shelter and outside of giving service to other people. But sustenance is something that we need. Today I went to the uh, Penn Station to get myself a treat. A very kind man who worked there came to see me one morning and provided me a loving gift of a sandwich. And I wanted to repeat that sandwich because it was so good. So I went in to make my purchase and what I found was uh, the woman at the counter was not really paying attention to me. Not only was the entire facility overstaffed, but also the divisional manager and what looked like a new hire trainee was there. When I was standing at the counter, I was explaining to the girl why I came back to the establishment to buy. I tried to ask her about the sizes of the sandwiches and the related prices so I could figure out what I could invest in with the money in my pocket. And openly, she didn't do a really great job of that. My guess is she hadn't been really truly trained in how to present their food to people who'd never been a person who's eaten at their store before. At the same time, what I asked for was pretty straightforward. I wanted a bacon sandwich with provolone on it and some pickles. So here's what I got. I got a sandwich, and I didn't want any condiments on it, I wanted some packets. So what I received was this smaller sandwich, which is what I paid for, almost $7, and openly all it had on it was a handful of bacon and some pickles. There was no provolone cheese added at all. I did check over my receipt and see that she did not actually add that in the order, and she did ask me a couple times about the order, and I said yes, because I thought I heard her say cheese, but maybe she didn't actually say that, but that's okay. The problem of the day is how inexperienced she was at not only pleasing the customer, but she was too busy interacting with the other employees or student level people in that establishment. Additionally, I left with no condiments in the pack and no napkins either. So I really didn't get what I paid for, now did I? You see, when you're a porter about real life, people are always interesting. When I left the store, I went out to get to my pack, my rollator, where I keep most of my stash, and I've been able to do that with the kindness of another place. But the reality is, a young man kind of was scoping my pack, who was black, and then an employee of their store. He went into their facility where they do have a little break space, and I know it's there because I've seen it before, and I've been a member of kind of talking to people who've worked there a long time, and it changes fairly regularly on the dime. But reality is that the young man said, hey, brother, and I'm he's standing behind a... Um, what do you call it, a metal screen, if you will, where I can barely see him, and he wants to call me in to give me a few dollars, and the answer is always no. Because I don't know what the play is, it's not true, I don't want to be played with in front of a store. At the same time, I realized that he might have been thinking he was going to ply me with some dollars in order to try to take something that he was scoping off my pack, which I simply left there because I didn't feel like carrying everything in. But I usually normally do carry a few things extra with me when I walk away from my pack. Just because when you're busy doing something, you don't expect that people will leave things alone. We would hope they do, but what I've learned in time is that they don't. Now I'm talking about reporting about real life. We're reporting about real life of living as a homeless person caused by an attack on my life, attack on my business, attack on everything I believe in and dreamed in in life, but openly that's the truth. That's what a journalist does. I am a trained journalist from university with a university degree in that, but it doesn't matter. In the streets, I'm known as priest.